Derek Guys and Gals, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome to a brand new series for the channel. Yes, we're going to be playing a game that needs very little introduction, Planet Coaster. And the reason I say that is that it's been out in beta for quite some time. There's been quite a few YouTube videos on this game already, but now it's my time to give this a shot. And I'm very, very excited. I played very little Roller Coaster Tycoon back in the day, so playing this is kind of all fresh and new. I did play some theme park way back when, but that was a long time ago, and we just recently did a stream on this, and I just loved it. I loved it. I thought this this is really cool, and you could ride all the rides with, with the people in your park and stuff. It seems just great. Anyway, so this is being released tomorrow, I believe, November 17th, and it is developed by Frontier Developments, and they have done a fantastic job on this. So be without further ado, you know what? We're just going to jump into the game, because I don't want to waste any time not playing this. So I debated on whether or not to do the career, and I think the career is too limiting at the beginning. I want to have sort of that freedom, that poetic, poetic license to do whatever we want. So I think Sandbox, of course, there's no challenge to Sandbox because there's no money. You don't have to worry about the cost of things. Challenge is the way to go. Challenge, we can start a build to our heart's content, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to play the challenge, and I think, you know what? I live in Alberta, and I'm surrounded by mountains. So you know what? Let's do Alpine, and our name of our park. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> let's call it Deluxe. Deluxe Otopia. <laughs> Wonderful and difficulty. I wonder. Okay, so easy. You get more cash. You get lots of cash. You get eight thousand cash. Refund rate is seventy-five percent. In other words, when you sell something back, you get some money back. Uh, research is fast and cheap. Guests stay happy for longer. Well, yeah, no, that's too easy. Starting cash. Uh, medium starting cash four thousand. Refund rate is fifty percent. Research is average. Cost and speed. Guest happiness is average. Right bake breakdown is average, and I'm assuming hard is just harder. I think we'll go medium because I haven't played much of this game at all. So uh, and I want to. I want to do really well. I'm hoping we do really well, but I'm. Gonna to build like I want to I'm kind of thinking like we'll build the worst park ever we're gonna make it miserable and see how see how well we do in building something that's just awful <laughs> I don't know I don't know I haven't decided exactly what we're gonna do but I just I have this vision of building something uh, just terrible achieve a park balance bonus of 10 interesting I have no idea what that means all right away we go yeah so this looks really nice it's such a beautiful game and you get really get to see that more once we get some stuff down here so let's start out by building our path let's build our path um see uh, it's got it's got kind of that cobblestone coming in do we want to maintain that cobblestone or do we want to live on the edge I think we want to live on the edge let's go Ooh, a glassy oh this looks nice I like that okay so let's go angle snap we'll leave it on at 90 percent you know what? Not 90%. I want to do kind of a Y at the beginning. I wonder if it'll let me do that. Like, we go like this, and then we go... Hold on. Stop that. Stop that. Stop it. There we go. I want to do kind of a Y. Yeah. Oh, that's not right. It's a little tricky to get things right. Hold on. Actually, I think what we're... Ah, ooh, whoops. Let's go back right to the beginning here. Let's build it out. Oh, we can change the oh, we can change the park entrance, the color for the park entrance. Oh, that's cool. Oh, neat. Okay, so I like that glassy look. That looks really cool. Looks like a, you know, lava rock glass kind of thing. Okay, so and then we're going to do like a Y thing at the front. Should we if we put it on angle snap? We could go like So this is angle snap 90%. Okay, it's tricky. I want to get Ah, there we go. That's what I want. Sort of, sort of. I wonder if I can go back now and then... Ah, there we go. It's not... Yeah, no, no, it's perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. So, kind of do a Y. Now, I'm thinking, like, eventually we're going to have, like, some kind of... um, the One of the track rides over here that kind of takes you around the park. Um, but that's that's way down the road. We have to do some research, of course, to uh, discover some of those. At the beginning, I think what we need to do, because we only have 4,000 bucks, we just need to get some rides down at the beginning. Now, as far as a theme goes for the park, I'm going to let you guys decide that. I'm going to go through all the scenery here in a bit once we sort of got started. Um, and then you guys can let me know in the comments below what kind of theme you think we should build. And I'm going to try and build most of our own buildings. I don't want to be using, you know, stuff that people have already built on the workshop. I want to build our own stuff because, I mean, that's half the fun of this game. I also want to do more than one, more than two dimensions here. I want to be able to play with some of the terrain, raise some terrain, maybe make some mountains and stuff in here, or some big hills and, you know, stuff that we can have tracks, you know, run through tunnels and everything. But at the beginning, we can't afford to do any of that. At the beginning, all we need, all we can really afford to do 
is uh, make a few rides and get people on them to make a few bucks. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so that pass should be good. And I think right at the beginning, I think we're going to throw down a couple rides. Let's do that. Let's throw down. What do we have? Of now, of course, there's a lot of rides in this game, but we have to research them all. <laughs> so, yes, uh, teacups. You know what? Uh, teacups uh, it seems very kiddish. Well, I don't know, but it's, it's actually very girlish. You know, uh, let's do something a little bit more manly in the front. That's not really manly either, is it? <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Uh, that's okay. Let's let's do the psycho law. There we go. That's a little bit more manly at the beginning. Just so you know, or something a little bit more gender neutral, so that when people come in the park, they're like, oh, okay. So they have, I don't know, just a more of a balance, right? So let's try the psycho law at the beginning. Uh, you know, what? maybe we'll give ourselves a little bit more room because we're probably gonna do a nice entrance in the front or something at some point. So we'll put the psycho law. Looks like there's some hills. There's a little bit of terrain. Like, there's a, the train's moved up a little bit there. That's that's fine. That's okay. So, right about there, what we're going to do is we're going to move the path up. Hopefully, that's the right spot. Yeah, so the exit is going to be there. Yeah, okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to actually move that a little bit. Let's move it so it's right about here. It Oh, it automatically changed the terrain for me. That's nice. This is such a nice game. It's so easy to, to fiddle with things in this. It's really, really fun. I'm really enjoying... I've been enjoying playing with this a lot. Okay, so let's go to our place entrance. We're going to place our entrance right about here. <laughs> I'm already, I've already got a big decision to make because we've got some terrain in behind. Because what I want to do is I want to have the entrance. I want to have the line go all the way around. So place exit. The exit's going to be right here like so. Oh, cool. It automatically puts our our path down on, 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 the, uh, on the ride. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's place our entrance. Okay, so then we're going to go all the way around like so so i want nice big lineups i don't know if that's a good idea or not because people get you know irritated standing in line for a long period of time but at the same time oh let's see it's not gonna let me oh it's not gonna let me do that because of the train all right so let's we, we got to do terrain smoothing already <laughs> that's okay uh let's see uh hmm there we go. Isn't that nice? Oh, that's such a nice. It's the train. The I was playing around with the terrain tools earlier, and I was having. It's it's actually quite quite easy to manage. So that should be good. Let's go back to connect entrance to path. Uh, it's not going to let us do that now. Still. Hmm. Okay. Let's maybe. There's another tool here. Um. Where is it? Flatten foundation. So this one here should. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> Whoops, that's maybe a little bit too flat. We might actually have to go back and... I mean, it's not too flat. That's exactly what we want. We want it flat right now. Eventually, we're going to add some features, some terrain features. But at the beginning here, we don't want too much of that. Um, we just want to save some money and not have to worry about any of that stuff. Okay, so we'll connect entrance to path. Uh, let's maybe go back here. There we go. See if we can sneak around it now. No, okay, so let's go back. We'll have to smooth out that last piece. Let's go train. <laughs> already, you know, we're already having to do some fun stuff here. Let's see. There we go. Just like that. Perfect. Easy peasy. Excellent. Because I want this lineup to go all the way around the ride. Perfect. Are we going to run into that tree? That is possible. Let's rotate a little bit here. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to remove that tree or... Move it, maybe? Ah, yes, we can move the tree. Perfect. Let's move the tree over here. I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to destroy all of nature, just most of it. <laughs> ah, let's uh, connect our path. All right, so all the way around. So this is going to be a massive lineup. Now, the thing with this game is uh, the people don't like standing in line unless they have lots of cool things to watch and, like, lots of good scenery. So at the beginning here, people are going to be quite PO'd because it's going to be boring standing in these lineups. But I wanted to have, I want to sort of have sort of the theme of our, of these stationary rides like this, you know, just kind of have that same lineup sort of around the ride. That people can watch the ride too. There we go. Just like that. Excellent. And we're going to open this up and let people in. Perfect. Okay. Let's do another ride right away. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. We can also adjust the colors of the ride. I do like the colors though. I like the green. I think we should go kind of a green themey kind of thing. All right. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, we can always adjust these later and we probably will. Wow. This is huge, huge landmass. We can have so much fun with this. Okay. So let's get some more path down here. We're going to do uh, some of the smaller rides just along the edge here. I'm, I'm probably going to do most of our stationary rides on this side. Whoops. Okay. Let's put our, let's put our 
angle thing, angle snap back on here, so it's have a nice straight line. <laughs> I'm not big on straight lines. I like to be a little bit more uh, organic than this, but you know what? For starting, sure, because we're going to be removing most of these and adding sort of that organic look a little bit more later. Okay, so let's do another ride. Let's go for, okay, so the insanity, that sounds fun. We can't afford it. It's See, that's the thing. At the beginning, we just got to make some money. We just got to make some money, so we just got to get some stuff down. Wow. Okay, I guess we can do the teacups. We can afford the teacups. We can afford the Venetian carousel, the whirly rig. Sure, let's do the whirly rig. We're going to have to change the colors on that sucker, but that's okay. Okay, we're going to have to flatten some terrain here. That's probably costing us a lot of money to flatten this terrain. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Got to spend money to make money, right? All right, so let's go back to rides. Where are the rides here? Back to rides. Let's do the whirly rig. The whirly rig. All right, let's rotate that sucker so that it is facing the crowd like that. Excellent. Excellente. I don't know if there's going to be enough room to get that path around it, so let's maybe go down here a little bit further. Let's give that a shot. Uh, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get that path around. We might have to flatten that terrain as well. Let's go like that. Excellent. Very nice. Oh, that's so expensive. We're losing. We lost all our money just <laughs> managing our, 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 our terrain here. Oh, well. That's okay. So let's place our entrance right here. And let's attach our path right away before we uh, get too far ahead. See, it's not going to let us do that. Okay, it's too close, I guess. Mm. All right. So let's move it back a little bit. That should be good. We should still be able to get our path around it. Path like so. Yeah, it's not weird. Okay, hold on. Let's no no path. Let's delete this. Can we can we, we it's not letting us Oh that's the entrance. Whoops, whoops, whoops. My bad, my bad. Entrance needs to go over here. The exit needs to go here. There we go. Now that we've moved it back, it should be fine. It should be fine. Okay, so now we can place our path. Oh, I guess we could decide on what kind of path we want as well. You know, I kind of like the I kind of like the wooden stuff. Well, we might have to change this other one because I like the wood. The wood against that uh, sort of that black rock looks really cool. So let's do that. Um, let's also hold on. Let's go back to whoops, <laughs> whoopsie. Um, no, no, no. Uh oh, what I do? What I do? I did something I didn't mean to. Okay, so let's go back to pass. Okay, let's connect all this up again. <laughs> ah, half the fun is watching me fumble. Um, I just want to see something here. Path. How do I adjust the... Ah, there we go. Angle snap. Let's turn that off. Okay, let's go back to connect entrance to path. And we want this to wood. I like the wood. Let's go with the wood. Excellent. And angle snap is off, so we should be able to sort of creep around this whole thing, just like we did with the other one. Yeah, I like the wood better. It's getting dark, and we're going to have to add lights, too, because the nighttime park is actually really attractive once you've got it all lit up. It looks really cool. Like I said, I haven't played a lot of this, but... Ooh, we just got an achievement. Money Spinner. Three out of a hundred. I don't know what that means. Does that mean we spent all our money? Probably. Oh, we're actually making money. Look at that. We've actually made money. All it takes is a couple rides. People, I don't know. I wouldn't go to a park with only one ride. I guess maybe, but... Uh, whoops. Oh, that's not intentional. Hello. Delete path. It's not letting me... Oh, that's not what I want. No, 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 no. Okay, it's got to go back to the path tool. It did something weird there. I don't know why it did that. Let's go back to the path tool. Delete that, and then there we go. Perfect. And then go back to the connect entrance. Excellent. Like so. And you can manage so many different things with each ride. There we go. That looks really nice. I love it. Takes a little bit of time, but I like that. That looks... I love the path color. The path color is so much nicer. Wow, look at that. That's filling up like crazy. Oh, that's so cool. We're going to ride some of the rides, too. Uh, but not quite yet. we got to get a couple of these basic things done. Okay, we're going to open this ride. Let's change some colors on it. Because I'm not a big fan of the blue. Can we go kind of a brown? Eh, no. Uh, how about how about yellow? Yeah, the yellow's... Yeah, it's, can, we, can we adjust this blue background, though? No, not really. Oh, okay, well... Hmm. Red against the baby blue, I guess. That orange can go. Let's... Ugh. <laughs> oh, I like the green. I like the green. I like the green. Um, can Oh, and the inside of each one of those things make it uh, yellow. Oh, yeah. Green. Yeah, frogs. They're like frogs now. That's cool. I like that. That looks really nice. Um, I don't like the blue background, but it doesn't look like we can adjust the blue background. 
Hmm. We can add our own music to each one of these rides as well. So Ballad of the Tentaflu. <laughs> Instrumental. I don't know. I, I guess we're going to find out what that's like. Okay, so we've already got people riding our rides and we are making money. So let's take a look and see how much money this ride is making. So potential monthly income right now is $102. But as people, you know, it'll, that will go up. It just, it will sort of reach a maximum amount of money that we can make on each ride. Uh, money, uh, monthly running cost is $310. Potential monthly profit is $208, negative $208 right now. It'll get better. It'll get better. Ticket price is $6. So we can raise that price. If the lines get too long, we can raise the price. It just makes must make sense. It's supply and demand, folks. Supply and demand. All right. Uh, and this one here... Is only four dollars to ride, but hey, you know what? It's it looks like a simpler, much simpler ride than this one. Shall we just? I, I just want to jump on this one and see what it's like. <laughs> uh, let's ride the ride. Let's sit in the seat. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah no! <laughs> oh, I hate going upside down. <laughs> oh, we should call this park Vomitville <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> We're trying to build rides that cause people to throw up or something. I don't know. That'd be kind of fun. Okay, we need to get another ride down. Because we need to make more money. More money. As much money as possible. Let's get... Ooh, we can't quite afford the carousel soon, though. We can afford... Can't really afford much else. We can afford the teacups. Uh, I didn't want to do the teacups. You know what? We'll do the teacups. Yeah, we'll do the teacups. But we'll do it over here or something. Mm, I don't know. I guess we could do it on the other side. Just kind of do... This is kind of like the... Uh, the sad part of the park. <laughs> <laughs> where you ride the teacups. We'll do the coasters and everything over here, but we're going to add some train and stuff. We need to make some money, so I guess we'll do the teacups. All right, so we're going to do the teacups, like, right here. All right, let's make sure that we get this right this time. So the entrance can go off to the side. The exit goes right here. Perfect, just like clockwork. Connect the entrance to path. We're going to use that wood. Excellent. So now we're getting the hang of this already. Well, I like the music. The music's actually pretty cool. Sounds like, uh, you know, like, uh, sort of a violin pirate song kind of thing. So as far as a theme for the park, I need you guys to decide on a theme for the park. And we'll go, I'm going to take a look at the scenery after this. Um, so that you guys know sort of what we have available to us. Like I said, I want to be able to build most of our own buildings and most of our own scenery. That, that's going to take some time to do. But we need a theme. I, I mean, our theme could be no theme as well. It could be, I don't know, we sort of had one theme there. Vomitville. Vomitville sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's right. Come to our park and we will make you throw up. One way or another, you're going to vomit. <laughs> Hurlville. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, wow, this is this is super long because the teacups are really big here. But people, you know, I remember they have something like the teacups, I think, at uh, Walt Disney Disneyland. Disneyland. And I remember riding them. I hated it. I hated it because it spins you. It's another one of these spinny rides. Okay, there we go. And we're going to turn that on. Let's take a look at our colors here. 450 to ride it. And colors, oh, get rid of that baby blue. Let's go with the green. Yeah, that's better. And the white, can we turn that to a yellow? I don't know if that's better or not. Pink, oh, we got to get rid of the pink. Let's go brown. Oh, that looks all right. Uh, let's do, actually maybe do a darker green. Oh, that looks okay. And get rid of this fuchsia and replace it with the yellow. No, let's go brown. That's better. I guess it's a little less girly. It's still teacups, but it's a little less girly. There we go. All right, we've got three rides down. Now, before we leave today, let's take a look at the scenery and actually what what's available for us to build. So it's got some pre-built pre stuff here. We can go in and download all sorts of buildings um, from people that have already been building stuff in the workshop. Some of it is absolutely fantastic. And I, I, I appreciate that, but at the same time, I think we should build our own stuff. So we've got... Yeah, we've got some basic stuff. Oh, look, a bone large. So we, maybe we could do a dinosaur type theme. We could definitely do princess knights, you know, medieval type themes. We could do, um, let's see, we've got uh, sort of that brick, heavy brick. So maybe we could do like a Victorian theme. We could do, yeah, that's boring. Well, not really, but I, okay, more of this. Oh, pirates, definitely pirates theme. We could do kind of a USA theme for Canada or a Canada theme. We could do Canada theme. Uh, wizards and warlocks. We could do... Uh, space. I know there's lots of space stuff in here. We could do, oh, sort of a uh, um, plumbing, a plumbing theme. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, steam engines, you know, old, old industrial type theme. That'd be kind of fun. Music and sound. Um, there is uh, cops and robbers, bank robbers. Um, we could do, uh, let's see here. We've got Space. Lots of stuff. There's lots of space. So we could do space pirates. <laughs> space and pirates. That would be kind of fun. Um, let's see what else we got. We've got sort of uh, old... Uh, 
Oh, we could do like a Japanese theme. We could do boats. We could do a boat theme or ship theme. We could do um, skulls and death. We could do a death theme. We could do a very dark park, like Halloween-y type themes. We could do, um, let's see what else we got here. I just, I mean, whatever. I don't know. Come up with something, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think the theme of our park should be. And we'll start, I'll attempt to start building some of that stuff. It's going to look horrible. It's going to be horrible. This is going to be the worst park ever. <laughs> right now it looks very clean and shiny. Don't worry. It's not going to stay that way. So we should probably think about hiring a couple people right away. Um, let's see. Let's go to staff. We are definitely going to need somebody to fix our rides. So let's hire a mechanic. Probably need a couple of these guys. Probably. He's a trainee. Oh, I guess staff happiness. I don't know. Oh, we probably needs a staff, a staff room or something. But I don't know. For, to start, where is he here? Where'd he go? There he is. He's just wandering around. He'll go around and he'll maintain these rides every so often. I think it's every 30 minutes he maintains a ride. So what else? We need to get... Let's hire... A janitor, although I'm debating whether or not to hire janitors, we could just have a really dirty park. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> just something really filthy. Filthy! Um, okay, let's go back to hiring here. And uh, But for now, I think we'll keep... So, now this sort of falls in line with what our theme's going to be. We've got... And I think we can download new people? I'm not sure. But we've got Dexar. He looks... Oh, he's like... He's like... He's like... Z209 or whatever his name is. Ed209. <laughs> Put down your weapons, you have 10 seconds to comply. But these guys just wander around the park and they make people happy. They, they just harass people. <laughs> yeah, look at them. That, honestly, it looks really great. This game is so, it looks so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Look at all these people. Look at look at all of the different types of characters that they built. I wonder if it's, I wonder if these are procedurally generated. I wonder if they just have, you know, generic, generic clothing and they just, you know, procedurally generate people into here. It's really amazing. So another thing in park management, we can take a look and see what types of people are coming into our park, what their thoughts are. Ooh, 90% park. People are really happy that our park entry is free. Wish there was more rides. Yeah, we're going to add more rides. We just need to make a little bit of money before we add more rides. Did we? Yeah, we opened up the, uh, okay, yeah, we, we did open up the teacups. Okay, and uh, the queue looks fast for Psychola. The queue looks fast for teacups. All right, cool. So we, we've got some people that are relatively happy. We've got some... Uh, average people average guess happiness isn't so great but uh, let's see finance summary it shows us how much money we're making on things we're not going to make a huge amount of money for a while but at least we got some rides down just one sec here guys yeah we got a, we got a few rides down uh, can we afford to do anything else can we just put down a shop i wonder if we can afford to put down a shop now these are the pre-built shops um so again they have a theme already attached to them now if we don't want to use a theme <laughs> we'll start with the basics, right? So we've got Cosmic Cow Milkshakes. And because I want I want us to build our theme, I'm just going to put down something very basic. And it's cheap. That's the nice thing about these. These are super cheap. So this is basically a place where they sell milkshakes, but uh, that's it. And it's very plain. There's nothing interesting about the building at all. Z to rotate. Let's rotate that around. So I don't know. Should we do like a food court area? Maybe we'll do that over here. I don't know. Uh, or, yeah, because do we really want the food near the rides? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. But um, let's rotate this so it is... Oh, it won't let me do... Oh, it has to be on an angle? Really? So what we could do is we could add a path, like so, into kind of a food courty kind of area. So have it go in like this, and then we could go... Oh, okay, so there is no angle snap. So we can go around, maybe do like a little, a little road that kind of goes in a little circle okay let's start on the other side now want to make it look as even as possible yeah let's kill that <laughs> uh there we go that's not bad that's not bad that actually turned out okay that turned out okay it's it's not quite evenly going in i wonder if we remove this there we go uh, it's still not quite there is it maybe we can adjust that angle ah it's pretty intuitive, though. It's pretty intuitive. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing about this park is going to be perfect, by the way. There's going to be lots of things that just aren't right. <laughs> okay, so let's add the Cosmic Cow Milkshakes. Let's rotate this sucker. And like I said, I want you guys to come up with a theme. So we are not going to add any decorations to these buildings until, until I sort of get an idea of what you guys think we should do. It's weird. It, it won't let me... So... I wonder if there's a way... Oh, snap. We'll turn off the angle snap. That's what the problem is. There we go. Now we can put it on 
any angle we want. It doesn't, won't let me put it there? Really? Oh, insufficient funds. Oh, we're broke after we place the path. Oh, so I guess right now we just need to make some money. Oh man, okay, so the past, even the past costs a lot of bucks. So if you come into this game and you decide, well, I'm just gonna build a whole bunch of scenery and a bunch of big, big buildings and stuff, you're not gonna, you're gonna go broke. You're gonna go broke. You have to get down some rides right away. That's the, oh, it's getting a little misty. Cool, there was a little bit of lens flare too. That was kind of neat, neat stuff. Um, is there anything else? So the park entrance gate. So I guess we could do like multiple entrances as time goes on. Well, eventually we might even charge we can charge for people to come in. I, I think we can actually adjust that now, but I'm not going to do that. Entertainment point. What is that? Does that actually say what this is? An entertainment point. So what does that mean? Does that mean this is where... Oh, weird. I guess we're, I'm going to have to look into that. Cool. A hot dog squad. So the cosmic cow mil milkshakes. We should just about have enough for money for that. We just got to wait. We could speed it up just a little bit here. Speed it up just a little bit so that we make a little bit of money. Oh, look at our little entertainer. So maybe we've hired too much staff right away too. That's possible. I mean, these rides are making money, but we've already hired three staff members and those are going to be uh, pretty expensive. Okay, so now we have enough money to put down our cosmic, cosmic cow milkshakes. I think. Do we not have... Oh, no, we just lost money. <laughs> I guess... Oh, man, maybe we have too much staff. Maybe we've got to hire, fire somebody. Let's fire this guy. Fired! <laughs> Fire! <laughs> I just fired him. Aw. Aw, he's all sad. Aw, everybody's following him too. I just got fired. I just lost my job. We can't afford to have you yet, dude. We just we just can't afford to have you. We need to make some money here first. <laughs> all right. <laughs> the poor guy, I feel kind of bad, but we need to make money. So it costs money over time to maintain these rides. Um, and of course it costs money uh, to to have staff members. So yeah, okay, so we gotta just kind of wait until we've got that money here. Let's rotate this again. Whoops, oh yeah, we can rise it up so that it's sitting on pedestals and stuff, but that's gonna be more costly. We don't wanna do that right now. So we wanna have this just straight up on the ground. Let's make sure it's, yeah, it's not sitting up upright or anything. Okay, now we just gotta wait until the money, yep. We could speed it up a little bit more here. Cause I don't know, maybe the park's not gonna make money as it stands. Well, maybe we do have too many staff members. Where's our janitor? Let's fire him. <laughs> we, we don't need a stinking janitor yet. Jesus, that's crazy. Uh, uh, where is he? Uh, mechanics. Janitors. Uh, let's go to him. Sorry, dude. We, we just can't afford you right now. Can't afford you right now. Sorry. We will, we will hire another, we will hire another janitor later. We just can't afford you right now. All right. Now we're ready. Now we're ready to do this. Put down. See, this is it. I like. I like that it takes. You know, you have to manage your money very carefully. I really like that. Money's going down a little bit. It'll come back up. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, what is this? So we can make this bigger or something? I don't know. There we've got. We've got one lonely little. Uh, what is this? A milkshake stand, I guess, or cosmic cow milkshakes? Oh, that's awesome. We can name these whatever we want, I believe, as well. We can't really manage anything to do with it, but we can edit the building. Absolutely edit the building. We can make it all fancy. We can add all sorts of themes to it. Ah, there we go. We've got people coming in. They're gonna, this will help us make a little bit of money. I wonder how much money we can actually make with this sucker. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. Like, where do you see? Okay, done. Okay, oh, here we go. Cosmic Cow Milkshakes. Let's just click on it again. So, uh, money. So, uh, oh, I see. Tr Strawberry Cosmic Shake costs $5. Vanilla Cosmic Shake, $5. Cosmic, uh, chocolate Cosmic Shake, $5. Perfect. And I know we could throw a sign on there right away. We could do that. Sure. Uh, but we are totally broke. Guys, we are out of time. But we'll be back in, in, in a day, probably. I'm going to be playing a lot of this over the next couple weeks. We'll probably play, probably play an episode of this a day for the next little bit. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. It just depends on how popular this becomes on the channel. Anyway, guys, I hope you are going to enjoy this because this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And we'll see you tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye.